Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome back to the Majeffries Network on OpenTTD. And we start over here at Fort Hampton. It's going to get a huge renovation, guys. Today's going to be hectic. We are going to rebuild almost the entire station. In fact, that's a, that's a total lie. We are going to rebuild the entire station from the ground up. Um with an all new design, something that I've sort of tried in the past, mostly off camera uh, to be fair, in, in series that I haven't recorded but um, I was debating doing this as a time lapse but then I thought of something I quite enjoyed the way last week's episodes went with half of the episode going up on Monday and half the episode going up on Friday I thought that was quite a nice mix so I'd actually quite like to do that again this week. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and completely... Uh, where am I going with this sentence? I'm going to try and completely rebuild Fort Hampton over two episodes. One going up today, obviously, on Monday, and the second going up on Friday. Now at this moment in time I don't actually know the cutoff point because I don't know how long this episode is going to be in its entirety. So you will have to bear with me as I... Um, as I get on with this, because I don't know how long each half will be. If it's getting to be too long, I'll split it into three episodes and have one go up on Wednesday as well. Um, just so you know. So it won't be a, a massive surprise when there's suddenly an episode on Wednesday too. Okay. I think this train is enough out of the way. Let's get cracking, shall we? So we're going to get rid of the entirety of Fort Hampton including all of this rubbish here and all of this rubbish here and all of this rubbish here as well of course in fact if I let this run on just a little bit longer buildings are obviously going to spring up here so we're going to have to get rid of those again what I'm waiting for is this passenger train which you can't see at the moment there it is this passenger train to get out of the way now, I don't think there was any freight trains inbound there isn't good because I'm going to redo all of this side of things as well so I might as well demolish all of that as well whilst there's uh, well whilst there's nothing in the way basically right get rid of all of this stuff get rid of all of this new Wandham Wood station is getting demolished as well it'll be replaced with a new station down here somewhere um, all of this track here can be demolished like so and that little section there, this little section here and all of this bit here okay so what is the plan? the plan is to build a brand new station inside of a triangle so we'll have a big triangular junction like station um, and it won't just be a station here, there'll be a whole new complex being built so there'll be uh, storage sidings, there'll be depots there'll be good avo goods avoiding lines, there'll be new terminals, there'll be a bus station there might even be something like uh, a shipping dock, maybe even an airport I haven't 100% decided on that one yet but there will definitely be a bus station built in the center of this triangle and you'll see what I mean by that in just a second so this train is pretty much as far back as I need it to be a tiny little bit more there we go, that should be more than enough yep, good okay so first things first, we do have to get rid of quite a lot of um, land the actual station is going to be built slightly further north than the original, it's going to be built in this gap here this line here is actually going to be relatively central um, compared to the new station, whereas obviously with the old one it was to the north of it so the first thing we need to do is level out all of this land in the center here like so and again you, you notice it's being built in a bit of a valley on one side as well but that's not too much of an issue with the way that this is going to be built let's get rid of all this stuff here that should mean I can level the majority of this yep perfect and then we'll do the same over here now the bit where it's going to be slightly problematic is actually coming out to the west here 
it's not too bad because I've, I've got space to actually build in. I mean this is a good guide, it's a good starting point, let's put it that way, it's a very good starting point. Now I did attempt to actually draw this, what I was going to do on Photoshop so I could show you, but my Photoshop skills are terrible and I found it really horrible, really fiddly and I really just wanted to get into the building side of it. So I haven't done that, it's not finished, it's not available for me to show you at all shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think there's anyone out there who's particularly interested in in my Photoshop skills uh, unless you're a lecturer of mine in which case hi I suppose. Not really sure why you'd be watching my videos but you know stranger things have happened. Right. So as you can see I've, I've actually reduced this hill quite a bit now. It's only three tiles instead of the original whatever it was before. Um, up here I could probably get rid of a bit more crap like so level this off okay let's try this out so we're gonna go with the default platform length of 8 but we're gonna have a platform length of 10 for the railjet trains um, which are probably going to head that's an interesting one actually because the railjet really should be able to use all three sides of the triangle because I don't 100% know exactly um, how this is going to work still let's start off by sort of utilizing what we had before if I put that in a tunnel where would that come out? okay it's a bit too low so we'll have to lift the land up. But I think if I move this station to over here instead, um, we can actually build a new terminus completely separate from the complex, maybe with a linking line. I haven't fully decided on that either. But let's uh, put this, this station in for now. We'll just put it in as a little drag and drop of this. Oops. Let's electrify this. The last thing I want to do is to have non-electrified track because that is a nightmare. Even though it's quite easy to fix, it's still not very nice to have to go through and fix it. All right, so you're technically Fort Hampton South. There we go. That means we can get rid of all this spur line here. And actually, this area can sort of regrow a little bit again, um, which is quite good because we need to drive a bulldozer through this section here. So what, what I need to do is separate the express tracks from the local tracks. Um, but in a way that, that I'm trying to think of a way of explaining it even because I'm sort of I'm I'm not making it up as I go along as such, but at the same time um I am finding myself improvising somewhat on some of this. So let's see. No, let's not do it that way. That's a rubbish idea. Although I do need to move all of these tracks over some. So let's do that and then I'll fiddle around with it. So let's move that to there, that one to there. So this four has to become eight, basically. So let's um let's actually use this as the opportunity to turn four into eight. So let's say that that comes down like that and that comes to there connect you up uh, okay draw you down one extra okie dokie this will then go up and over like this via a girder bridge we'll have the other track come under like this and this one will come down like this these are our express tracks all connected up. So we've got four express tracks going in there. We now need to do the same with the local. And actually that's not too difficult for some of it at least. We could draw that across like so. And that's one. This line here uh, we'll probably have to draw underneath at some stage. Which I could probably do
Let's see. Let's think about this quite carefully, actually. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And we'll make this one longer. So you will go up to there. Um, this one will go up to there. This one will go up to there. And this one will go up to there. This one will also go up to there. Okay. So far, so good. This will draw straight underneath. I'm literally off by one. That's quite frustrating. Try that again. There we go. Right. Uh, this one first. You to there like that. You to there like that. This one a long way over like that. This one a long way over like that. This one a long way over like that. Okay, so from here you will go all the way underneath. Like so. Except we'll stop you there and we'll draw you again like that. This will be the other side. Okay. And then this one will come out like that, under like that, and then along like that. Alright, that looks pretty good, I'd say. So we've now got these eight tracks. Four has successfully turned into eight. And we've got the express through the center, which is good. And then we've got the locals at the side, which is also quite good. And we've we've actually drawn this junction deliberately away from the station so that we can fit in all of the uh, the sidings and depots and things like that um, in the area that we've got coming up. So again, I'm just flattening a little bit more of this land, making sure we've got plenty of space for what I want to do. Because believe me, I'm going to need space. The idea is lower all this, build the station, and then build the land back up around it. And that should give us a really nice um, place to work with. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to do it this way. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of that. Alright. Good. So let's head back over here. Um, we'll carry on drawing this up a little bit more. And we'll get rid of more of this bit of town here so we could draw these bits in. Now we're going to start actually prepping for the station itself. So here and here, it's going to be like that. And then at this point, it's going to start turning. Actually, let's draw all of these lines up first. like so and like so. Okay, now these two lines and these two express lines are going to turn and have a station over here. So let's plan that bit out first, shall we? Something like that and it's going to be like that as a startup. And then we're going to have um, Like that. Uh, actually, that's going to have to move over a bit, isn't it? Oh, this is going to give me such a headache, guys. So I kind of wanted to map it out in my head before I started, because it's going to be really um, headachey trying to get this done. It's perfectly possible, and I can sort of see it how I want it to be. It's just the actual design isn't really. Um, flowing through my hand and into the mouse if that makes any sense right okay, I'm just 
bear with me. Bear with me with the silences, guys, because I'm just thinking um, as I'm doing this. I haven't forgotten to talk. Don't panic. Right. So what we actually want to do first is the straight station. Which is going to go in this direction. And it's going to be something like that. Uh, except it needs to come back. But that's fine. I can do that without messing too much up. Because if I say... Looks like that's 6, isn't it? So now if I take 6 off this... There we are. Something like that. And then... Okay, there will be a through track going through there, like so. Let's go up to the Dutch uh, island platforms, they're the ones I want. Let's see that and that. Something like that, and then shelters in the gap there. This bit here is actually going to be the rail freight. And in fact I have a feeling that I've put this in completely the wrong yeah I've put this in completely the wrong spot. What an idiot. Alright let's just take it back to what it was. I know there's people out there who are incredibly frustrated with me right now shouting and screaming. I apologize guys. I apologize. Right. So the local lines are these two here, and they actually line up almost with what I wanted them to line up with. Um, if I was to do a little bit more demolition and stuff, they would fit, but actually I don't want to do that. But over here, we're going to have some bay platforms. 2 by 8 is actually not too bad, but if I mark that in like that, and they are going to go like so. And then, obviously, signals and waypoints will go there like that. These will also be through tracks, these ones here, except these ones are going to be slightly different to um, what we've already got. So I'm going to put that like that. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like that. Uh, so this needs to come out two more, which means this can come out two more. We'll get rid of two there. This is being done for a reason. Um, there'll be another one there, and there'll be another one there. Okay, which means that one needs to be done like that, and then these go out like that. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and then in the center here, we'll have a huge series of crossovers, and this is like the avoiding lines with platforms in the center. Uh, not in the center, sorry. Platforms at the side and avoiding lines through the center. That's been done deliberately. Um, meanwhile, over here, we've got the express platforms. So let's see actually, if I, I need to go in anyway, and that will connect up there. This one will connect up here. But then there will also be, yeah this needs to come back a little bit. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Because obviously this will go like that, and like that. And then there'll sort of be a big crossover type thing going on here. Uh, and then these. So this really doesn't look smart. Um, I 
something like that I suppose and you'll come down as far as there you'll come across like that you will connect up like so we'll have another connection there and that will connect up to these bits and like that I think that works I'm not 100% sure right now over here we need railjet platforms and we need some through platforms so I think this actually needs to be another one long and then um, the railjet will be these two here so then these two these two will be through platforms okay and then how many of these one two three four five six so this one will come in like that this one will come in actually no 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 idiot like that and then that one will come in and then this set here will come across like so and these will connect up and this will form the other set of, of tracks uh, let's just pop that there for now like that and then these will actually go over hmm yeah I'm not sure how far because I, I can actually fit some sidings in like if I'm careful with this I can fit some sidings in here let's see there'll be nine long won't they like that just to store trains when they're not being used uh, the only problem is I think I'll have to take that back something like that perhaps and then you'll connect up there and could potentially go across like that let's say that one connected there we also had a line that went across like that something like so and then if we also had a line that went out like that and connected that one up like that something like that and something like that and that's that done quite well I think and then these can still connect up without too much concern and in fact if I connect these up straighter still like this in fact that's, that's not the smartest way of doing it um, I might change this again actually let's change this again so let's do fill these ones in whoops fill these ones in and remove these two like so and then I also need to put in a couple more here although again saying that this is going to be railjet and this one here is going to be railjet and these are local ones obviously and there's going to be like bridges and all sorts of things that's going to connect all of these up but um, oh, I might actually just take this back a little bit more put another set of island platforms in I mean this is really cliff face type stuff we've got going on here now let's see uh, if I take that back one so this is now six yeah perfect which means this one could be six and this is actually still relatively good for, for uh, connecting up which is fantastic okay so over here 
we're going to do something similar to what we've got up here. So we're going to have um, let's see, take this one off again. Get rid of you. Okay, so this in the middle here is going to be empty. And then we need a five long gap somewhere in the center of this. Something like that seems to work. And then you need to be uh, seven long. You need to be seven long. And then on this side, you need to be seven long and so do you and again in the center here we will connect all of these up like that and like that okay like that like that like that like that and like that and then all of these come across like this now these two can retreat back again these are the two main lines. So you connect up to those. Which means you come over as far as here. Like this. And then all of these lines actually connect up to those. Like so. And then these two connect in like this. And then we'll have a series of crossovers. One there. Like that one there like that and then over here we'll also have this one like that and we'll chuck one in like that so it's starting to take shape you can start to kind of see where we're going with this um, and then on this side we'll do something I'll probably sort this side out in a second but you can start to see where we're going with this station and what it's meant to look like So from here we can actually grab this whoops, and do something a bit like that, get rid of that, upgrade you, follow this line all the way back to here, pop a signal there. Uh, this one goes across this long bridge. Yeah, we'll leave that signal as is. Alright, good. And then over here, um, again, we can fit some sidings in. Not many, but some. So we can put some here. We can put two here as part of uh, the railjet side of things. In case we want to store some railjet trains. I should point out this is made to look like it's two through lines and things like that, but these all of these platforms are bi-directional. Trains can travel in either direction. They will be used as unidirectional, but they will operate as bi-directional. Or they will they will be built as bi-directional, I should say, not operate as. Let's move that back a bit. See if we can pop that there. And then over here, we'll have another set of sidings. Um, something like that. Should do it. Let's get rid of that. Pop that in, pop that in. Okay. Now let's do a little bit more demolition so we can smooth out this a bit more. Now this is where it's going to start to get tricky because we have to do basically all of this again but on a diagonal. So those go in quite nicely. It's this bit where it's going to get horrible. It's going to be really, really tough. I mean, actually, I might take this back again. Again, I'm I'm 
sort of arguing with myself again as to how exactly this is going to work. I think what actually is going to happen is these are going to travel next to these ones. Um, and then the crossovers and stuff are going to happen before the, the turns into the platforms maybe. Let's see if I do that and I do that keep this going and keep this one going see I'm getting stuck now I'm actually getting stuck we need this to come across like this that's the thing right take that back take that back A lot more of this needs to be cleared. A lot, lot more. There we go. Better. And then up here, some more of that crap needs to go. And some more of that crap needs to go. There we are. Right. The thing I'm worried about now is leaving too big a gap in between these stations. Because this actually is quite a good size for Fort Hampton. I'm more than happy with this as the station that runs from north to south and this will actually link up with this line again and we'll carry on running up um, through uh, what's this? Tranningworth Somwell Ridge because it's named after Tranningworth and Somwell Ridge which is here although technically it also serves Boo Hill maybe even a bit of Brendhead Cross I'm quite happy with how this one's turned out. And of course there's, there, there are sidings here at Boo Hill. Um, at least on the south side. You have to be careful with that. And there are no avoiding lines for the high speed trains, the express trains. Unless... You know that won't work. Never mind. Well there really isn't, is there? I've not done a great job with that. Hmm. I just have to go straight through, I suppose. Right, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Not relevant. Not relevant. Back over here. So, yeah, what I need to do is... Um, start with this. And we want to... Something like that. This is New Wyndham Valley. So you're going to go there. Actually, you need to go a little bit closer, I think. Get rid of that. Get rid of that for now. Something like this. Oh, that's nowhere near enough room. <gasps> Damn it. Not smart. Not smart. Not smart at all. Uh, as for the station name, this will remain Fort Hampton. It's not going to change its name. It's just, it's not... I mean, technically, it's not anywhere near the, uh, the the town that it's meant to serve anymore but I do still think it should keep its name just to avoid confusion if anything right let's try not to mess this up again shall we so let's get rid of that okay So I want to replicate this almost exactly the same as we have it here. Um, actually, yeah, I can leave myself some room. I can leave myself some room. I can have a big gap in the center. Let's build like a square 
in the middle here. So let's have it go like there, up to there. So what, how long was that? 13. And we'll have this go 13. You go 13. And you go 13. And that is like our connection point. So we can have a set of platforms down here and a set of platforms down here. Now these platforms don't have to be as excessive. So we could actually go with um, something like this. How long is that? Six, seven. And then I can pull this along like this. That actually connects up there quite nicely. Uh, except it's not supposed to connect up there. Take that back one. So that can actually come down here like that. And then if we have this do the same to there, draw you there, connect you there. Then these are our fast lines. Like that. And then if I do um, they could be the railjet platforms again. Draw you down like so. We'll actually take that back one so that I can fit those in like that. You will go there like that. You will go there like that. These will carry on and you'll connect there. You'll connect there. There'll be crossover like that there and there will be one like that there. That's actually pretty good. And then here You can connect there and you can connect there. And I'm actually not too unhappy with that. I'm not too unhappy with that. So what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but that's a railjet one, so we don't worry about that. Let's say here, we'll cut that back. Which, no, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. They'll go like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, that will come in like so. That will come in like so. So these will be the main running lines again. They're not too far off where they should be, actually. If I uh, change this, that's pretty good. In terms of where it needs to be. Get rid of those. I don't know why there's an oil well right on the top of the hill. That doesn't make sense to me. Something like that. Get rid of that. Level this out a bit more. We can have this as a bit more of a step hill. Let's see if we have that go along a bit more like so. And then have that one go along a bit more like so. It's kind of better. Alright, and then over here you'll come in like that actually sorry I know I keep saying actually and I keep redoing things but that could be a lot further up and the reason I'm doing that is because not through all of this but through some of this terminus platforms as well I'll put them like this for now. Like that. Okay. Get rid of everything up to here. Um, this could be extended a bit more. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which means we can take 4 off either end of the uh, ends here. Which means this whole throat section here will be redesigned. Uh, 
like so and like so. I should also point out, by the way, anyone else is, is sort of wondering why I'm, I might sound a bit tired and things like that. It is currently 2 a.m. when I'm recording this. Uh, again, I had that thing where I suddenly felt inspired and I felt like I had to record. So I sat down at my desk and here I am. That's why uh, I'm not quite with it right now. If I was to draw straight lines out here, how close am I? I'm one out. So that actually could play into my hands a little bit. Like so. Like that. And then those two will connect there. Those two will connect there. Now these are obviously the running lines. These will carry on in a straight line. Um, let's see. That one will go in like that. That one will go in like that. These ones will come down like so, and then like that. That one will connect there, that one will connect there. Um, 